this carbon depletion just so happened to start the day before doing my speech in Dallas, Texas for the Raider Project. So I'm heading to Dallas, Texas right now, which is why I've packed all my meals. So each one of these, I have five of these a day right now. It's going to be 300 grams of green beans, eight ounces of grilled chicken breast, a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, and then one of my meals, or two of my meals has coconut oil, a tablespoon of coconut oil, and then one of the meals has a tablespoon of flax oil. Now this is to deplete all the glycogen out of my muscles, and then the day before the photo shoot, which is Thursday, we carb load. Now I've heard that flax oil tastes like absolute garbage, so I'm just gonna take a tablespoon of this straight. One of these like so. Oh no, don't spill, don't spill, don't spill. Here we go. Oh, whoa, that's not bad. That's not bad, it's just. All right, so I'll see you guys in, in Dallas, Texas. I think I'm on the verge of a break here. So I made a quick stop in Deep Ellum. Now Deep Ellum is like right on the outskirts of, of Dallas. I wanted to say Austin. If I wasn't gonna live in Austin, I mean I love Austin, anywhere else in Texas would be Dallas. Dallas is, it's so unique. So like Deep Ellum is this small little community of restaurants, bars, like coffee shops, and there's graffiti everywhere. Like it's, it's everywhere, it's very professional. I think it's almost encouraged. And now we're about 20 miles north of Dallas, South Lake in the Hilton, where I'm staying complimentary of the Raider Project tonight. So typically at this point in the day, I've had almost all my carb meals, uh, but today, like not having yet any, any yet, uh, this is like another, this is my fourth meal of, of green beans and chicken. I'm definitely feeling the effects right now. So I was taking a walk the other day. So I've used this dieting strategy before, or like peaking strategy. When I was, I was a junior in college, I did my first photo shoot to kind of promote BPN, like right when Bear Performance Nutrition first started, I depleted carbs for four days, I carb loaded, and it works. It definitely works. It just four days of very low carbs, just some green beans. You feel it, you'll feel it. You know what, I wonder if there's a microwave here. Hey, thanks man, I appreciate it. So we got presents from the guys at the Raider Project. Ruggedly adventuresome cowboy bark, which I want right now. Sparkling water, sugar-free mints, notepad, pen, chapstick, Coffee, mug, my name right here, Nick Bear, 1345 tomorrow. So originally the plan was not to train today, but like there's a 24 hour fitness right across from the gym. There's also a cheesecake factory. I mean the hotel. There's a 24 hour fitness right across from the hotel. There's also a cheesecake factory right across from the hotel. Which is killing me. But we got last meal of chicken, green beans, and my cooler's doing a really good job at keeping my coconut oil very cold. So one tablespoon of coconut oil. Weird mouth texture. But I love coconut oil. Very weird mouth texture. So there's this story. The story that I think you guys would really enjoy. And it has to do with embracing the suck of the diet. Now embracing the suck, I've used it before in terms of just embracing everything that's going on. Embracing the suck, the term, the concept behind it, was discovered by my friend on the inside of a porter potty. That's where it came from, that's when we started using it, just so you guys know. But this is my truest story of embracing the suck in my entire life. And up until this point, I've left it off the YouTube channel, but I'm gonna share it right now. Also, fun fact for today, this is my last day, well, yesterday was my last day in the military officially, May 20th, 2017, it's my ETS date, it's today. I'm now officially a civilian. The judge hit the hammer, they ain't coming home. We all are from the danger zone. The devil pulled the card and he said you So I woke up this morning literally feeling and looking like I don't even lift. It's like all of the just after one day, I figured all of the carbs and glycogen have just been sucked out of my muscles. Let me first set the conditions for this story. So it's Florida phase of Ranger School. At this point, I've probably lost about 30 pounds. It is the middle of June, towards the end of June, and it's like 100 degrees every day. We're sucking, we're deprived of food, of sleep, and just physically exhausted. Literally the most physically exhausted I've ever been in my life. Whenever I get tired from like dieting or anything else, I just look back at this moment and I think, 
you know what? Life's not too bad right now. Now in the Florida phase, you sleep in foxhole. So you dig your foxhole at night in the patrol base and you sleep in there. And it's about six inches to a foot deep. So in the morning we wake up, we're in our foxholes and the ranger instructors throw all these artillery simulators into our patrol base, kind of just to mess us up, get us woken up, started. And then we had to move like 300 degrees, 300 meters. So you hear the artillery simulator, someone yells 300 degrees, 300 meters. And everyone else echoes 300 degrees, 300 meters. And everyone picks up and moves. Well, we start moving, the ranger instructors stop us just because they were playing ranger games with us. And they instruct us just to go back to our foxholes, finish the operations order, the troop leading procedures, and then go on with the mission the rest of the day. So we all run back into the patrol base and I just dive into a foxhole. It wasn't my foxhole, it was someone else's foxhole. Well, little did I know, the person whose foxhole that was decided to go to the bathroom in that foxhole prior to leaving and he's covered up with a little bit of dirt. So I dive head first in somebody's number two on a hot steamy day in Florida at the end of June. That was truly embracing the suck. Okay, so I'm about to give my speech. My speech lasts roughly 45 minutes, but I'm not gonna record anything because the Raider Project is like professionally getting things recorded. So when that comes out, I'll put it on YouTube for you guys. So speech, and then going home. Cousin got my back, that's loyalty up in my blood though. Got that have a team because this industry get cut though. Not so many people I could say I really Nick, trust Nick, love your videos and your products. Here's a patch to put on the board from out west. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Sterling Riddle, Abilene Police Department. Appreciate it, bro. Love it, love it. So today's leg day. I'm doing like high rep stuff for uh, carb depletion. So everything's like 15 to 20 reps, no squats, no heavy movements. So we're doing extensions, curls, hack squats, one-legged leg press, calves. So I just got done talking to Brandon and we're gonna move the shoot to Wednesday night because we want to capitalize on the lighting in this gym at nighttime rather than during the day. Cardio, cardio is limited now. I'm not doing any more cardio for the cut just because like, I've reached the point of, of leanness that I want now. The plan originally was 800 grams of carbs the night before the shoot. I think I'm gonna keep it safe and just do like four to 500. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Super flat, but vascular. Cousin got my back, that's loyalty up in my blood though. Got that have a team because this industry get cut though.